Hi and welcome. Today's lecture will provide a basic understanding on different modes of mining a mineral deposit using shaft, incline, decline, adit and so on. Then we'll move on to related terms rock and mineral deposits. Shaft. It is a vertical opening or access to a mine driven from the surface to the ore body which is used for transport of ore or manpower and ventilation. Shaft in coal mines means a vertical opening only. Add it. It is a horizontal or a nearly horizontal entrance to an underground mine for providing a primary access. This is open at one end and leads to the deposit on the other end. Use of adits is normally restricted to hilly topographies. Slope or incline is primary inclined opening, usually an inclined shaft, connecting surface with underground workings. Its construction is simple and cost associated is also much low. Decline It is secondary inclined opening. It may be spiral, which is driven downward to connect levels on the dip of a deposit. Declines are more or less similar to inclines with much lesser inclination, usually less than 8 degrees, for facilitating direct transport of mineral or material from underground face to surface. Drifts or crosscuts are horizontal or nearly horizontal underground drivages to intersect ore body. It is primary or secondary horizontal or near horizontal opening oriented parallel to the strike of the deposit. Basically, they are drivages made from the main levels to ore body, essentially perpendicular to the ore body. Raise. It is secondary or tertiary, vertical or near vertical opening driven upward from one level to another. Winds. It is secondary or tertiary, vertical or near vertical opening driven downward from one level to another. Now we'll discuss about rock and mineral deposits. The crust of earth consists of different types of rocks, which are composed of one or more frequently more than one mineral element. The common rock forming minerals are quartz, calcite, feldspar, hornblende, mica and chlorite. So now you know that rocks are aggregates of any combination of minerals, elements, solid organic material and or other rocks. Do you know that mineral resources of today are the results of natural processes of billions of years, but with the prevalent rate of consumption, they'll be depleted within the next few centuries. So we can't afford their wastage and poor recoveries during mining and processing. So what is the definition of a mineral? It is a naturally occurring inorganic substance having a definite chemical composition and an ordered atomic arrangement. Examples are quartz and hematite, both being oxides. A mineral deposit is a natural body in the earth crust. Mineral has got three physical states, solid, liquid and gaseous form. The solid minerals can be further divided as metals, non-metals and fuels. Next, the portion of any mineral deposit that can be mined at profit is known as ore and the body of the earth containing ore is known as the ore body. A part of a rock formation that appears at the surface of the ground is called as outcrop. Vein or load is a natural crack in the earth's crust filled with minerals. Mineralized zone has more or less regular development in length, width and depth to give it a tabular form. Country rock, the rock in which the ore deposit is enclosed. It is the general mass of adjacent rock as distinguished from that of a vein or load. Barren rock, the rock 
surrounding the deposit or included in it but containing no useful substance or insufficient amount of useful component that's all for today see you again goodbye